Hey folks, today we're doing a comparison for you guys in it of two machines that fall into about the same price bracket. We're doing the Breville Duo 10 Pro, which is a new kit on the block, versus the DeLonghi Dedica. Hi. You know who I am, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear. So we are going to compare these two and talk about what features you're going to get on each, and then you can make an educated decision on what is going to work best for you. So the Dedica has a tremendous amount of backside features that you wouldn't think it had by looking at it. This is a single thermo coil or thermo block machine, which means you can't brew and steam at the same time, and it makes the hot water on the fly. It, but what, one of the nice things about this one is, look at the size of it. This is really compact. Everybody has room on their countertop this way, front to back, but left and right is where you're restricted in a lot of apartments, small houses, whatever. So this fits the bill for that. It has two programmable dosage sizes. And then on the back side, I'm going to get my cheat sheet because there's so much in here that you can program. You can program three different temperatures of what the boiler is going to do, low, medium, and high. They're not by temperature as in degrees, low, medium, high. You can program the water hardness from one to three. So that's another good feature. The volume of the buttons, just like I mentioned earlier, on, off, it will automatically, you can program it to go off at nine minutes, 30 minutes, or three hours. Uh, and it also has an auto descale. Hands down, this machine for the money has a lot of different programmable stuff going on. It has a Panarello steam arm right here, has a pressurized portafilter system, aluminum. That's probably one of the cons on this one. Comes with three different baskets and comes with the double, the single, and one for pods. And as you can see, these are double wall pressurized. Bunch of holes up here, one hole at the bottom. So, and you're gonna ask the question, can I get a non-pressurized portafilter for the DeLonghi Dedica? No, it is not made. Maybe down the road somebody will make it, but as of this airing of this video, no. Stainless steel and plastic casing has a little, come on. Stainless steel on the sides, some plastic on the base, drip tray right down in here with a little floater, lets you know when it's, <laughs> when it's uh, overflowing and gonna go all over the floor, or you, kind of a small drip tray, I would say, but look at the size of the machine. Where are you gonna put a bigger one? Water tank right back here is, and it comes off like this, 33 ounces of water. Small again, but you know, that's what you get with a smaller machine. This button right over here regulates whether you're gonna get steam or water. If you push this, you're gonna get steam. If you don't and you open the valve, you're gonna get water. Now let's move over to the Breville Duo Temp. So, this machine, stainless steel casing, much bigger, as you can see, it has a 61 ounce water tank right down here. So the water tank is almost double. Actually it is, yeah, it's almost double. Large water tank. Stainless steel with a cup warmer up here. This is metal as well. And this will get warm eventually as well up here, stainless up here. This is some sort of a metal up here that say has a finish on it. This has a stainless steel portafilter and it comes two different ways. It comes with four baskets, two doubles, two singles. Let me show you, they're right here. It comes with two non-pressurized and it comes with two pressurized. So you can, this is the pressurized, this is the non-pressurized of the single. So what does that afford you? That allows you to, if you're just starting out, the pressurized is more forgiving when it comes to having the grind of the coffee right. That's great, that's good. That's get you, get, you know, get you going into the whole espresso thing. Once you become better at it, now you gotta get a good grinder. Use the non-pressurized, dial in the grind, you'll get a better shot. So that's a plus. Comes with the razor for taking off the top of the, any excess, you go like that and then dump it. Comes with a little poker tool to clean out the single hole steam arm. And this is a more of a traditional steam arm. This is a Panarello. 
Panarello, just to, so you know, injects the air into the milk automatically. You don't have as much control with this. This one, you have to use your technique of breaking the surface and getting your foam. So a little more technique. Comes with this nice little tray. Drip tray right here with a stainless steel insert. It also has a floater that lets you know when it's full. A little bit bigger, but the whole machine's bigger. And, you know, typical Breville catches the tray and pulls it out for you. Tamper built in right here for you to tamp your coffee. Uh, this is your controlling your brew. If you take it over here, it's going to brew. If you take it over here, you're going to get steam or hot water, depending on what you've selected. Let me show you right here. Steam, hot water. No programmable buttons like the DeLonghi. So you put the brew on. When you get what you want in the cup, you stop it. So I would say let's talk about pros and cons. Oh, and I forgot to say comes with this lovely tamper with a scoop. You might want to, well, you can't really upgrade that because it's an odd size. So I would say programmability, this one has it hands down. Size-wise, it has it hands down. Panarello, traditional steam arm. Probably I would like the traditional steam arm myself. Thermo coil boiler, th uh, thermo block on the, on the uh, DeLonghi Dedica. So, Hmm, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. This one, you cannot change the temperature on it. This one, you can change the temperature. This one does not have auto descale. This one does have auto descale. This is good for a small apartment. This one, it, where it shines, the porta filter, stainless steel. Also, the four baskets. You can go into it entry level, and then as you up your game, you can switch. Now you've got to get a decent grinder to go with it. You don't have that capability with this. So it's your choice. I'm just giving you the information. There isn't one that's good or bad. They're just different. They're just different. One's different than the other. So check out the rest of the stats on our webpage. It's all listed there. Comments. Ask us questions. We're always there for you. Call us. Put some comments down below or write in to us and ask any of the questions you have. Subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for a lot for watching. I'm going to go have some lunch.